That's pretty incredible. Uh, I'm going down through it with a video to show people all of the different tomatoes that are growing here. Oh, okay. And all the work you've been doing. We've been doing this for almost two days or three days now? Three days. Three days. Three days. And what I do, I remove the leaves that give more energy to the tomato to grow. Yeah, I've never seen tomato plants with that many tomatoes. I never seen that too. I never had that. Big amount like that, you know. I had some. But yeah, that's just amazing. Okay. But I never did it with plastic. Ah, uh, yeah, me neither. Uh, the plastic seems to do a big deal. It really helps. Yeah. We haven't had to do any weeding, really. Like every once in a while, I pick one out. But uh, no, right now we don't have. But before that, uh, yeah. last year was weeding a lot. Yeah. And, uh, this year no weeding. But Pruning. A lot of pruning. I didn't realize that there was so much pruning involved with tomatoes. But in the first, really the first year, I, I was doing the bottom one, mm -hmm. take off the sucker, but uh, pruning like that is the first one. And I have to do it because, let's see here, you don't see what is there. It's so full. Yeah, you don't even realize that there's that many tomatoes in it, and then they won't get the sunlight, and they won't get enough. And energy, I guess. You start to prune, they, they show up. Yeah. Wow. And that's... also the different kind of tomatoes. Yeah, you have the San Marzano and San the beef Marzano steak. Over there. Beef steak in the middle and in the green. Mm -hmm. And that is the Roma. Mm -hmm. And they don't have exactly the same shape. No, they don't. And the Jedian is Cherokee. And more over there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that we call them the market vine. Okay, yeah, yeah, they grow just vine tomato. Uh, we, we don't know that the... Uh, it might be silly, but it is. But we really don't know because I took the seed from the tomato. Mm -hmm. But now it's raining a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Comes and goes here. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. We'll see what's going to happen. Oh, I think it's going to be the most incredible tomato harvest I've ever seen. We're going to be working a lot to, to can them all and <laughs> oh, make sauce and... A lot of uh, roasting. Yeah. And, uh, some will go, but all the Italian will go in sauce. Mm -hmm. And the other one will go in juice. And uh, anyway, we'll have a good uh, winter harvest. <laughs> And I hope it will stop raining because it will be all right. Uh, it might have taken for, for good now. Eh? Pardon me? The raining might be for good now. I don't know. I'll check the radar here. We'll take a look and see what we're having. Okay. And they all mixed up. Good morning, everyone. Today we are putting up guy wires and ropes and things for the tomatoes. There's so many tomatoes, they need some serious stringing up. So this is gonna be quite the project. Should be fun. another 4x4, four four, but I'm not sure where it is. I'll find it. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm going to stretch out the rope and see how much we have. Make sure I actually have enough for this project. It is hot today. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty of rope. Plenty of rope. 
I'm gonna move the camera so it's not in the sunlight there and doesn't get melted. Not that it would actually melt, it would just overheat from the temperature of the sunlight. All right, this one is gonna definitely start with this. This isn't the best of benches. Who would have thought something on wheels isn't a good bench? Should have got longer screws, but this will do. Not long enough. I don't want to use my tap. They're not even that much longer. Right? I'm gonna have to drill it half, screw it halfway into the board. That is way too close to the edge. That's not gonna work. I wish my glasses would stay on. Not too much we can do about that. This one instead, I guess. We're gonna repurpose things from the dirt, dirt sorting contraption because it's not likely to be used any time soon. Like now we're just building up. That way you can salvage all of the screws. Quite a few screws I used on this. Pretty close. Close enough. My drill bits aren't long enough. That's the same length.
All right, got the first post ready to go up. Let's see how it sits. Long enough. Should be poking through. So close. Almost all the way through. And there went my drill bit. Nice. All right, lunchtime is done, and we are back at it. Probably shouldn't have the E6000 glue in the sunlight. Pretty skookum to me. Broke one of my screws. Hmm. This maybe wasn't the best way to hook this up. This might be too tall. Ah! That is way more than 8 to 10 feet. I think it's too tall. It is not going in. Hmm. Is it gonna stay there? It might stay there. Let's see if it stays there. So far it's staying. Nope, didn't stay. So there's no hammering that into the ground. It does not wish to be hammered. Broke both the screws on it. Gosh darn. Still not keeping. Good, good. That nail's really in there. Don't break the pepper plants, mate. That's what I will do. That'll work. Break the foot. That should be good. Actually, I could use my Velcro to do this. I don't need to waste zip ties. Just looking for something to hold it temporarily. Isn't Velcro awesome? Okay. Next step. Drill. It got too hot and it shut off after 15 minutes instead of 30. Yeah, but I think it's too hot to do that. No, no I think it's too high and it took old another week. I thought you were doing two parallel things. Hmm. And that would collapse. First thing it's doing on the tomatoes. Well, it has a, a big metal post here that's stuck five, four feet into the ground and it's screwed to that post. It will, 
That's why I was looking for more of them. And then there's a metal post in the ground there too. So I'm gonna make it shorter. Yeah, but that is bubbling like that. Yeah. Because this is taking all the weight right now. Your thing is dangerous, guys. I will make it less dangerous. <laughs> I'll look at it and work on it and see what I can figure out. Okay, I need some water. That's not 40 degrees. I think this is gonna work. Well, since I don't have any more metal posts, this side is gonna have to be done a little bit differently. But that's okay. Well, there is an entirely possible that this is gonna blow the circuit breaker, so we shall try and see what happens. All right, I need some more water.
Well, I think that's deep enough. I definitely can't reach the bottom of that. Right, let's try. Nope, can't even reach the bottom. <laughs> that is the deepest hole I've ever dug. At least that that's been. All right, time to get the post. Wow, it's as long as this thing is. It's just barely touching the bottom. That makes, it's exactly four feet deep. 47, 48 inches. That's deep enough, I think. Let's try it with this one, see how it looks. Yeah, it's that deep. <laughs> nice. We need a thinner tamper. Time to finish. Took a bit of a break there, charged the battery, lose my gloves, you know the things. Oh, they're there. So, let's finish putting this post hole in here. A little bit more dirt we gotta put in and tamp the rest of it down. I actually just got a message from somebody that seems to be a very promising lead for my own apartment to live in. I am super excited, hopefully, they're not a scam artist. So far, it looks like they're probably not a scam artist. And hey, if, if I actually get it, this might be, this will be the first video in a, I got a new apartment series, but we'll see about that. This was one heck of an arm workout today doing this. I have a few blisters on my hands, but the gloves helped a lot with that, although they're starting to wear out. That didn't work. That's too thick. Put a little more dirt in. Hopefully I have enough dirt. It'd be kind of hilarious if I end up putting in a a pole, and I still don't have enough dirt even though the pole's taking up the space. By the way, I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm making it up as I go along, which is why that horrible contraption over there happened first. gonna ruin my wood.
Look at that. We used all the dirt except for the sod, but we used all the dirt. Wow. Looks good to me. Well, it's time to put everything away. I think tomorrow I will dismantle that contraption I built over there and do a repeat of this. Because this was a much better plan. It's too bad that I cut that post. But hopefully it will still be long enough. We'll see. If not, I can add more to the top of it. I wonder if I'll be able to fit everything on this curve. I'm going to say maybe, but also probably not. Alright, that's everything except for the wood pieces. I do want to pick up, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get them on the curve. Alright, I think I'll come back for the wood. My hands are sore. Seems to be working, but this is also probably horribly jerking because the pulsing stabilizer's turned off. Well, there's a fair bit of stuff to pick up here. Oh no, where's my bit? I have misplaced one of the square bits. It was red, so I should be able to see it, but it's also very small and I have bad eyesight. No. One of the broken drill bits. Definitely don't want to leave the broken drill bits on the ground here for Clifford to hit the lawnmower. Sore hands and blisters over I put a fence both in and My toolbox has too much stuff in it now. I need a bigger toolbox. Bigger, bigger toolbox. I try to carry too much at once. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this axe. Where is the sledgehammer? It should be there yesterday. Don't wanna lose the sledgehammer because it's not mine. Well, most of this stuff is in line. But the sledgehammer's the neighbors. Is that right? Well, I don't see it right away. It should be right here somewhere. Alright. Time to head in and get a shower. Hopefully this doesn't drop pieces of it. Good sign with that sharp turn. Bumpy, bumpy. Don't fall off, please, now. All right, let's try to take a less bumpy room. Start actually working. So, I want to take this whole thing down. It was a bad idea. In order to do that, I have to somehow get these. Which I don't think is going to be easy. Hmm. I have an idea. I doubt this Velcro is going to be strong enough. Okay, the idea seems to be sound, however, mechanical advantage is off and the valve cord isn't staying on.
that does anything. Doing something. Dodging a bit. Success! It's doing it! Ha ha! It worked! That's one out. Now how firmly is the other one in? Firmly. coming done done. we go. Cut those three posts out. Now to redo this whole cut thing. Looks like I unplugged the extension cord by mistake. Alright, here we go again.
time to empty the vacuum. Oh yeah, it's full. <laughs> Emptied it sooner. Clean up all these pieces of wood. See how deep it is now. I'm going for four feet, but I don't think it's that deep yet. Yeah, I'm close to. I need to go another six inches to four feet. Six to eight inches. All right, so, so that's probably four feet. Definitely deep enough. Let's check it out. Yep, 50 inches. We are at our depth. Okay, post hole is done. All right. So I'm gonna measure this thing as 11 feet long. And cut it. Yeah, brand new gloves. Complete and grippy. That'll keep the tape measure there. All right, that's good there. 11 feet. Good mark. Okay. 
go. Pretty good to me like that. You got the sledgehammer. Where would I put the sledgehammer? So now we begin the task of jumping the dirt back in. Let's see how straight is it? Straight enough. Like so. Looks good to me. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Tamping stick. See? That's annoying. But that one has another hole in it too, and that's the wrong hand. No oh well. hole I was able to get everything in the hole all the dirt that I pulled out by tamping it down like this we'll see if that happens to this one too I think all this dirt's going back in. We'll see. I think we will get all the dirt in there. Water break. It looks like it'll be pretty solid. Anyways, I gotta go, buddy. Alright, have fun. Yeah, you have a good day. Should be good. Hopefully get it finished tonight. Tape here. I don't think they'll put all the dirt. Took all that dirt out of this hole yesterday and now I put it back with a post and there's room for a little more. <laughs> that means I've compacted it very well. Oh, well, I guess that one's ready. Yep. Good pull. I mean, they're pretty good. Alright, now I need to get the drill and the hole saw. I mean, it's working, but it's going pretty slow. That should help some things. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this out without a screwdriver. 
there's a bus screwdriver, but it's not the right kind. Almost all up. I don't have a car pliers here with me. There's one little piece in there, it won't come out. Getting there. You can tell this hole saw has never been used before because all the paint's coming off. There. Getting there, almost all the way through. That's almost the end of this battery though. And we're through. Beautiful. It worked. Nice hole all the way through. Perfectly big enough to put the rope. Now I gotta drill one at the other end. First I gotta get this out again. There we go. Come here. Do one quick at the other end here. Need my screwdriver as well. Almost. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't need Titan. I don't need to go get another battery. kind of bent. See if I can straighten it a little bit first. God, it's so loud. I hate using this on camera without hearing. Actually, I left it in the house. Oh, that's making my ears ring. Ah. That takes some effort. Whew. I don't want to break the flesh. That's some huge tomato sauce. Hands are tired from that hammering. That looks like it will work very nicely. I just have to make it tighter. Can you tell I never went to Boy Scouts? That should be good for that. Well, I'd say it's ready. I don't know how much weight we're gonna be able to put on this. I like it. I'm gonna drill some notches these poles so I can use them as things to hold it up add up.
Well, that's gonna be more than enough. Yep, that'll work. That'll do it. Time to go get some nylon rope. Actually, I already have the nylon rope here. Um, I have the ties here. No, I don't. I need to go find my zip ties. I can't find my zip ties, so I gave up on that one. This is going to be a lot of weight. I can already tell. I think I should tie it to the cage first and then tie it to the above strip. Easier to do that. Looks like I'd need more posts. It's a good thing I have a whole lot more posts. Hey, snatch box. Definitely gonna have to put my gloves on. I hurt my hand doing this. I have some zip ties, but not very many. There's a start. Yeah, let's keep going. Hopefully, a few hundred feet of this rope is enough. This one's coming loose now. I may need another post. That's what it looks like. Wish I knew what I did with my bag of zip ties. That went quite nicely, actually. I never had this problem with tomatoes knocking all the cages over. That is an incredible amount of tomatoes on the plant. Yeah, it is. So this is working really well so far. What do you think? Yeah. I just hope it has the strength to hold up. You have the big yellow one? Yeah. It should be rated for at least four or five hundred pounds, eh? And then it has a working load of times three or so. Or safe. So if, as long as I don't put more than like 500 kilo on it, it should be okay.
Those ones are pretty good for now. And this one's really good. Cool. Very nice. Get it zip tight. Mm -hmm. uh, I can. I don't know if that's going to stay like that. Looks like it's gonna rain soon. If I finish this before it rains. I feel like I should put another post right here. I'm gonna do that. Alright, and then this is a good spot here at this point. And I'll take some of the weight off of the other one there. Some of the weight. Still can't move. I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to have enough rope for this. I've already gone through like 200 feet of it. On for the next section. It's actually kind of hard to find the tomato cages here. When you don't have three hands, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost done.
That is really heavy. Enough to just push the post right into the ground. Hmm? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost done. I was watching you set it up from the post office. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm almost done. Wow. That's wild. I'll watch it go straight and move here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this looks so hippy. Yeah, but that side is it. Yeah. I guess it's done for now. Don't worry about those two later. Yeah. Let's go for a ride. How's that for a contraption? <laughs> Look at the size of this tomato. Oh, I know. There's some crazy ones in there. This one here. The one over there. These whole bunches are huge. I ended up adding uh, another post thing here. The thing it's done is it's turned around some of the emitters. Oh, that's, that's already that way. I, I can fix that easily. Oh, what do you think? I think it's, I think it's beautiful, man. Oh, I'm quite happy with it. You know that. me, I like things to look very hippie. <laughs> that is how you build a suspension bridge with rope for your tomato plants. Oh, I love it.